Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Angel Kim. A growing number of tourists have been traveling to Jeju despite the COVID-19 crisis, but the increase in numbers is not being reflected in the tourism industry. During an administrative affairs auditing session of the Provincial Council's Culture, Tourism and Sports Committee, the Jeju Tourism Association Chairman Pu dong Sok said that although the number of tourists to Jeju is relatively high, the patterns of consumption has changed, which is hindering an increase in profits. Lawmakers pointed out that Jeju Island's Tourism Bureau lacked responsiveness to changing travel trends and advised the need for countermeasures as trips like RV leisures, camping and hiking tours are becoming increasingly popular. Provincial councillors added that since the tourism industry has changed greatly due to the COVID-19 crisis, the province must find new opportunities and take preemptive action. Governor Won Hee Ryong made a presentation to President Moon Jae-in this Tuesday on Jeju's projects under the Korean New Deal and asked the national government for support. The president promised to financially support Jeju province. However, the amount that will be offered remains uncertain. Todd Thacker reports. President Moon Jae-in, government officials, governors and mayors gather at Cheongwada to discuss Korean New Deal initiatives and projects. This is the first meeting on the issue following the announcement of the National Program of Social Reforms. Governor Won hee Ryong, the first speaker at the meeting chaired by the president, gave a presentation on the island's own projects to be implemented under the Korean New Deal. Won sought support from the national government for the deregulation of the electricity market currently held exclusively by the Korea Electric Power Corporation. He then proposed halting any new registrations of internal combustion engine vehicles beginning in 2030. In addition, the governor advocated the development of human resources to train 100,000 skilled Jeju workers. He also sought support for the island's 2023 bid to host the Conference of the Parties part of the annual UN Convention of Climate Change Conferences. Juan cited the province's experiences and success stories, which could be shared with the world. In 2013, the climate President Moon emphasized the importance of local projects under the Korean New Deal, saying about half of the 114 trillion won in national funding will be earmarked for local government projects. Combined with local government and private funds, the total budget for the Korean New Deal through the year 2025 will top 160 trillion won. Moon promised financial support, adding that cooperation between local governments, enterprises and residents is essential for the success of the projects. 지역 균형 유지를 사업에 적극적으로 인센티브를 제공하는 등 재정적 지원을 아끼지 않을 것입니다. 지역 균형 유지의 원활한 추진을 위한 제도 개선에도 적극 나서겠습니다. Regarding the sale of electricity, relevant ministries are planning to amend current policies and seek deregulation in the electricity market, an issue that has come up at previous forums. Meanwhile, the future of the province's other proposed projects remains unclear, as the government has yet to provide guidelines to the governor's requests. For now, though, Seoul's intention to push for deregulation and to allocate New Deal funding will play a key role in the success of the province's objectives. Todd Thacker, KCTV. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV E! News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again next week.